Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Okay, well, you might remember this mess of wires from somewhere. In my previous Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop, I made a couple of amplifier circuits and, well, here they are, mounted onto a piece of wood. And you know something? It was pretty good that I've made these two circuits because you may remember in one of my other videos I modified a Durabrand amplifier thing for my computer so I could have sound on my computer. Because I have my computer connected up to my TV and it's connected up via the HDMI connection and because I don't get any sound through the HDMI I've had to rig up a separate amplifier so I can get sound. Well I can't get the camera back any further but we're now looking underneath the table where I have the computer and this thing, you know, this sort of grey thing that I've got screwed onto the table. Well, this is that amplifier that I modified, that Dora brand thing. And a couple of weeks ago, I was moving some wires around. And while I was moving the wires around, got an awful squealing noise out of the two speakers you can see here. Then the whole thing just started buzzing and went dead. So it was a good idea I built these two amplifiers because now I have a backup. These two little amplifiers are the ones I'm going to use as the replacement. Of course they're nowhere near as powerful as the um, original thing that these speakers were connected up to but I must say these speakers, these little tiny Dora Brand things, sound much better connected up to this little amplifier that I've made than they ever did when they were connected up to the thing they originally came with. Each of these little amplifier circuits I've made only gives out just under a watt but I may not sound like much but it's loud enough for this room. In fact it's more than loud enough. I could probably get a little bit more power out of it if I used properly matching transistors. I'm using a C2001 NPN transistor and an A952 PNP transistor as the output transistors. And for the driver transistor I'm using a C1815 NPN. So I'm not exactly sure how well these two are matched, but it seems to work pretty good and there's, well, I'm more or less pleased with the way it sounds, so I'm now going to give you a little bit of a demonstration. I've got the two speakers, either side of the TV, connected up to my amplifier, and that amplifier is connected to this volume control here, and that volume control is connected to the computer. And I'm powering the amplifier on this power supply down here that I'm currently making. The actual electronics for this came out of a, one of those power brick things. This gives out about 14 volts, so it's pretty adequate for the for the power supply. I don't actually know what that came out of. Don't know what can possibly be run on 14 volts, but it's a good regulated power supply, and it works pretty well. Okay, now I can give you a little demo of it. I'm connected up to these two speakers and the computers. But I play for my encore. <laughs> That was from a Tom and Jerry episode, believe it or not. Um, I just recorded that because I like the music in that episode, but you can hear that sounds pretty good, and you've got to remember that's from a cartoon from about 50 years ago. Now I'll play something a bit more um, recently recorded with it. Can, um, how well that's come through onto the video but it sounds pretty good now I've just got to put this under here and um, then it'll be done oh my it's a G I have a few lighting problems in this room as well as I shall now demonstrate um, let's just put this fluorescent tube in um, hang on. there we go there's one side in I'll just get the other side put in. This is a bit difficult. As you can see, uh, when I put this fluorescent tube in, it only lights up at both the ends, which is um, 
Don't know how well you can see that on the camera, but... The strange thing is, if I touch this light... It comes on! Weird, isn't it? So, the only way to turn this light off... Is to literally... Take it out. These are the two switches I use for turning the lights on and off. Now this one here, which I've marked long lights, is for um, this light up here. And that switch seems to work absolutely fine. Because, let me just find it again. Turns the light off and turns the light on. But the other switch, that's for turning this light on and off, which I've just simply marked buzzy light. Let's just turn the camera's light off as well. I oh, can't really see it now. Um, oh, now it works. Would you believe it? Well, um, I was going to make a video on fixing this switch, but it seems to have uh, sorted itself out now. Um, that switch wasn't working a minute ago, it was, it was on all the time, no matter what I did, it's, but it seems to have fixed itself, that's really weird. So next thing to do is ogle Lisa for a while, and then just take everything off the bed, I mean, everything off the table, and put it onto the bed. Of course the most difficult bit is getting these plugs undone, because there's a lot of plugs as you can see, I've got about six plugs under this thing. And they've all got to come out. And here you can see another view of the um, original amplifier thing. Okay, so these plugs all got to come out. Okay, that's everything taken off the table and put onto the bed, you can see the TV and the clock and other various bits and pieces and my computer which hopefully I should be upgrading in a few months or so when we get the money that subwoofer amp thing is still um, connected to this table there's two screws here which are holding it in place I can't take the fans down but I'm sure say goodbye to this thing as I wasn't planning on using it much longer anyway Yep, there it goes. Okay, I've had a bit of a calamity here. This is the um, underside of the table. And when I unscrewed that subwoofer thing, it pulled the relay down because I for forgot it was connected to it. And that relay was connected up to the computer to turn this thing on and off when the computer was turned on and off. And, well, that's where it was. So I'm going to have to rewire that up as well. Well, while I'm waiting for the soldering iron to warm up, I thought I'd have a little look inside the Dora brand thing. You know, that one that I'm not going to use anymore, just to see if there's any visible damage. And if we take a really close look at this, I don't know if you can see that, but you might be able to see it from this angle. Can you see that one of the chips there has gone, it's completely blown? I didn't even know that had actually happened. I didn't think the damage was as bad as that, but... There you go. Okay, well it's all now wired in. We've got the put the relay back and this is the power supply for the amplifier. And I've put those two amplifier circuits up here. Screwed them in place. Reasonable distance away from the power supply so it shouldn't motor boat, because I hate it when that happens. Now it's just a case of putting this all back together and um, putting everything on and seeing if it works. Well, it's all done now. Just watching The Simpsons here. Had a little bit of a problem though. When I screwed those circuits in there. Uh, oh, wait, let me just pause this thing. Or turn the sound off. Um, yeah. When I screwed these things in, the um, I think I screwed them in a bit too tightly, and I, I think it must have made some of the metal parts short out because they weren't working so I've had to tape them in instead 
and it's not very um, they don't stay in very well but at least it does work now now let's give you a little demonstration I'll just turn the computer on all I have to do is press the space bar on this thing or any of the buttons actually because this is just on the computer is just on standby And here we go, here's the computer, now let's just um, place something on it. Um, I'll just place some of my things here, let's try to find something. Ah, yeah, that'll do. 8-bit version of Zool. It's coming out these speakers. Oh, this is the microphone, by the way, in case you're wondering. So that's working pretty good, and, um, well, I guess, I guess until next time, goodbye. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more episodes of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop, click on the box on the right to see the previous episode. And for more of my videos, click on me right now to go to my channel.